my great privilege to present you with this award for charity and community. Well done. Congratulations. Well, I'm up here today um, on request of the National Lottery to help them award a young lady called Julia who has been working very hard in the autism community to bring awareness to the fact that autism has a high percentage within adults with autism. Unfortunately, through her own experience, because her son Luke took his own life, a young man with autism, and she found out that the prevalence of suicide within autism is, is higher than your, your, your neurotypical um, uh, children or, or young adults. Um, and the reason I believe I was invited up is that I've been dealing with autism for over 20 years. I've been fundraising. I've been trying to provide the appropriate services for children and their families affected by autism, um, tailored education, uh, intervention, stimulation, um, music, uh, music and language um, therapy. Um, and it's just something that's very, very close to my heart. Um, a lot of people within the autism community are very aware of the support that I give to it. Um, and I've got a bit of a familiar face. So it's nice um, for me to come up to be part um, of the award and to say congratulations to Julia. I'm, I'm, I mean, it's very, it's, it's Julia's son lost his life in 2021. We're only 2023. It's a very short amount of time for her to process what's happened and to, to grieve and, and, and to come to terms with the loss of her son. So for her to create this awareness and to do the work that she's done in such a short space of time, it's, 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 it's very admirable. But she's surrounded with a lovely family, a lovely, loving and caring family. So she has the support mechanisms that she needs in place to be able to do the work that she's doing. Um, nevertheless, it's amazing what she's done. I'm delighted that she's been recognized by the National Lottery. It's after, bringing, it's, it's after educating me a great deal to an area of autism that I wasn't aware of and um, I will be able to take the knowledge I have today and implement it within the autism circles that I surround myself in. So it's, it's a very positive story from a very upsetting negative one. We created the Autism Hive in 2022 in response to the death of my son by suicide. You know, I found out that um, mental health within suicide and su in the autistic community, um, it was nine times higher for an autistic person to die by suicide. You know, whenever Luke passed away, I didn't know that. Um, so really the Autism Hive was created to you know, gather research and information on suicide within the autistic community and why autistic people you know, are high um, to die by suicide, so that's where the Autism Hive was created. At the moment we've really been trying to, uh, initially we've been bringing awareness to um, mental health and suicide. You know, um, I'm sitting on the Protect Life 2 forum within Northern Ireland, so it was getting into making sure that policy makers understood how um, autism and suicide are um, or how suicide affects autism. Really what we've been doing is trying to um, bring awareness to um, this, the fact of the high prevalence of suicide within autism. Um, we've created a um, course that looks at uh, why autistic people die by suicide, how to help them within crisis. Um, we've been helping and supporting parents that you know, are finding that their children's mental health has deteriorated and how, you know, how or what they can look for, what questions or how they can communicate with their child in order to, to prevent um, suicidal crisis. And to be nominated is it's just amazing. You know, when I first um, got the phone call to say that we had won, you know, I was ecstatic. Realising the awareness that by winning this award that the lottery has given us and the support that they have given us, you know, and the, and the, the back end to under to realise that what we are doing is worthy of recognition has just been fantastic. It was lovely meeting Keith this morning. Obviously, I, mean, I knew of Keith Duffy. I didn't um, understand the, uh, find the the work that he's been doing, you know, to bring in autism um, and awareness within um, North and South. So it was amazing to meet him and to hear his journey and his story and the knowledge that he has and the passion, you know, to support autism and to support um, the Autism Hive, you know, with his reputation, you know, just to have that support from him and you know as a parent and hearing a father's perspective of how he fought for his daughter and me being a mom and fighting for my son you know that's just you know it, it's lovely.